What is the best BFDI team? A group of contestants that consistently plays high in challenges, always finishing in the top half. A strong bond of teammates looking out for each other with great ideas, solid leadership, and the strength needed to overcome any task. That's what I'm looking for. The best team at completing challenges first. And to do that, I will be using the power of math. <laughs> like a nerd. Nerd! The math is actually really simple. I will give teams points based on the order they complete challenges in. For example, if there are only two teams, then the winning team gets one point and the loser gets zero. If there are three teams competing, then first gets two, second gets one, and the loser gets zero. Add more teams, then add more points. If there is a challenge that doesn't have an order, such as BFB 5, 6, and 7, then every safe team just gets one point. So the more teams you beat, the more points you'll earn. Obviously, this isn't fair for some seasons with less teams. So to make it even, I'll scale up their points by multiplying them by 10 over how many teams competed in that season. This will boost earlier seasons up the list. If there is a tie in the ranking, then I will go off which team has the better win to lose ratio. I have included 29 different teams across the entire show. So with that out of the way, let's see who's the real strongest team on earth. Remember, in this ranking, the points are scaled up to try to mix seasons together and make things even. Their actual points for their respective seasons will be shown at the end of the ranking. So if you disagree with me now, just wait till the end. That list is facts. Okay, now for the worst BFDI team. In last place is Team Another Name from Season 1. They competed in 3 challenges, lost 2, and got 2nd once. They only got 1 point, but it was scaled up to 5. So yeah, safe to say, they really are the worst team. Next is Team Fries, only won against the Beautiful Face Devotion Institute and lost every single challenge since, but still got a few points for beating out some other teams. In 27th place is the Have Nots with 15 points, only winning 3 out of the 7 challenges and only had to compete against one other team, placing it down here. Next is Team Nickel, he only competed in 2 episodes but got 1st in a challenge against 4 other teams and then got 2nd in the next. That's really good, enough to beat Fries. In 25th place are the Have Cots, just doing a little better than the Have Nots by one challenge. Next is a tie between and Death Pack yet again with 22.5 points, only winning 3 out of their 7 challenges so far. Just Not is not doing so well with just 24 points, leaving it in 22nd place, being the worst original Teapot team, going down to 3 members. In 21st place is Free Smart with 25 points, they were the best team in the beginning of BFBIA, but went downhill after losing Ice Cube and for joining in late. Now here's where things get interesting. In 20th place goes to Team Teardrop, getting consistent 3rd and 4th places against 6 other teams before for elimination. Next is Team No Name with 30 points, just losing one more challenge than Woe Bunch before the merge. In 18th place is Team 2, performing the same as No Name but with a better win rate. And with an even better win rate is Cloudier, only losing two challenges, making it the best teapot team after the team swap. Man, that is so good. You should really go listen to that. Oh yeah, despite being called the strongest team on earth, their team is full of useless, armless, wimps, and basketball. Snowball and Grassy literally carry their team and are responsible for their wins in episodes 3, 4, 6, and 8. This team has never gotten first and have just barely not been up for elimination, 5th place, 3 times, leaving them with only 31 points and 16th place. At the halfway mark is the Squishy Cherries with 35 points. Despite their big losing streak in the beginning, when team Another Name was made, they were able to regain some points, but still not enough and falling behind the Grapes. In 14th place, with 37.5 points, is our best BFDIA team, Woe Bunch, being here from the beginning and just doing better than Team No Name by a challenge. Next is our worst BFB team, Iants. They lost two challenges, got first once, were in the bottom half for five, and getting three seventh places, which really isn't good. Next is Team Ice Cube with 40 points. Slimmer to Iants, they only got one first place, lost 3 challenges, but consistently got 4th place. Not horrible, but not really good. 
Right out of the top 10, in 11th place is Team Are You OK? I am, thanks for asking. They were first in their first and last challenge, and they did pretty okay with the rest, with fourth places. In our top 10 by just one point is the S. They may have lost three challenges, but also got first twice and consistently got second place somehow. Huh. In ninth place is Teammates with a better win rate. Despite playing worse, that one extra win really mattered. In eighth place with 42.5 points are The Losers, our first BFB team to only have one loss. In their loss, the Twinkle Up Contagion, the rest of the teams only tied for one point, so their loss really didn't matter and is why they're up this far in the ranking despite usually finishing in the bottom half. In 7th place with 45 points are the Squashy Grapes, our best season 1 team. They are up this high because of their impressive winning streak over the Cherries and only losing 3 out of 11 challenges, despite going up against only 2 or 3 teams. For reference, Team Ice Cube also only lost 3 times, even though they competed in more challenges and were up against even more teams, meaning they could have done worse. So this leaves the Squashy Grapes up here. In 6th place, with a better win rate, is a better name than that. They only lost once and got first once, got 6, 6 times in a row, and then got pretty mid placements overall. Well, they're only a little bit better than the losers. Alright, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The top 5, the best of the best teams. In 5th place, with 47 points, is Death Pact again. They may have lost 3 times, but they've also been first 3 times, so it bounces out and they've gotten every single placement in between, making them the most balanced team here, landing them in fifth place. Shockingly, in fourth place, with 47.5 points, is Team B. Another team you may think is bad for having the most eliminations, but they always finish in the upper half. Not, not first though, they never got that, but always getting second, third, and fourth places everywhere else. In third place, with 49 points, is Team ah! Their impressive winning streak of 12 episodes really carries them here. Two firsts, two seconds, and the rest is kind of in the bottom half, never placing above fifth. With how close the points are, just one more loss for this team and they definitely would have fallen hard. But Team ah! West earns the bronze medal. With 57.5 points is the original death pack. Black Hole was right about them being really good in BFB. With not one, not two, not three, but four first place wins. Only losing once and some placements all around the place. Death Pact surpasses ah! the by an eight point difference. So with that, Death Pact is second place. There, There's another one? Wait, who could, who could possibly be eight names in Death Pact? What? Nah, you're you're joking, right? Wait, wait. What's that noise? <laughs> what happened to the free food? <laughs> Where is the free food? <laughs> free food? Yes, free food. In first place, with an impressive 65 points, is free food. I wish I was joking. You see, this is one of the five teams that only lost once. The losers, a better name than that, in eight names, usually placed in the bottom half. This left an intense race with Death Pact and Free Food, and it was very close. They both played a strong game, but it was all until 9-11 happened. I, I mean episodes 9 and 11, where Death Pact got 7th twice in a row, <gasps> and this was when Free Food could take the lead with 2nd and 3rd places. Free Food also got 7th twice in episodes 5 and 6, but these episodes didn't have a correct order, so every safe team got 1 point, so it was like these 7th places never happened. Besides that these episodes, in episode 3, Free Food was always finishing in the top 3, with 3rd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, and 3rd places. Death Pact just couldn't keep up. So with that, I can confidently say that Free Food is statistically the best BFDI team, period. As always, some people still aren't satisfied with these results, so here are the real lists with the seasons separated. These orders should be 100% correct. So there you have it, the best BFDI team is free food. Thank you for watching the video, this took me a lot of time to make, so make sure to subscribe and tell me how wrong my math is in the comments.